Broadcasting from the Smart Mobility Summit 2019. Over 3,000 mobility professionals gathered here in Tel Aviv these days. And here, behind the scenes, GoTo, as a part of the Commotion community, is interviewing selected mobility experts. Well, mobility and smart city experts, because here with me now is Yael Malayetsky, head of, sta head of the startup ecosystem at City Zone. Yes, actually, we, we like to the term using urban tech instead of just smart cities. Oh. Well, the urban tech community is also dealing, or the urban tech ecosystem, dealing with all of different um, partners and collaborators within the urban context. Okay, thanks for the <laughs> elaboration. So we'll get to that a little later, but before we start at the actual conversation, I want to uh, make a little game with you. And I'm going to be asking questions really fast, and you have to answer fast as well. Try to do it without thinking. Okay, so, I'm ready. Bike or car? Bike. Train or plane? Plane. <laughs> Swimming or running? Swimming. Car sharing or taxi? Car sharing. iPhone or Android? Oh, iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon or AliExpress? Amazon. Elevator or stairs? Stairs, always stairs. Which floor? Well, up to the eighth floor. <laughs> okay, good thing you're not on the floor 50. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Lucky. Okay, uh, Yael, I'd like to hear a, a little bit of your uh, background, uh, what brought you into the urban tech and uh, what are you doing there exactly? I'm actually part of the ecosystem for a couple of years. Um, I think it started when I went to um, college at IDC. Um, I was really fascinated about all the tech and startup scene and um, you know all the entrepreneurship programs throughout the academia. So I always took part of it with the entrepreneurship club at IDC and also the startups class and all of kind of women initiatives within that term. And realizing that the area that we're living in today is going to change. And, you know, everyone talks about the numbers all the time. The percentage of people is going to live within the urban cities, the big cities, and, you know, all the change that the urbanism change that are uh, happening nowadays and in the future. I realized that I can be part of the process of impacting that for good, hopefully for good, <laughs> and uh, to work within that term of smart city, urban tech, within the ecosystem of startups. Okay. So, and uh, what exactly is uh, City Zone's uh, mission and vision? You know, what are you guys up to, really? So, City Zone, it's, it's always complicated to explain what we do. <laughs> we have two uh, main initiatives in the urban context. Um, we're part of the urban, urban tech uh, ecosystem. So the first of all, Citizen is located in Park Atidim, Tel Aviv, which is a high-tech area gated center in the northeast of Tel Aviv, right. um, where we acting at the better side for Tel Aviv municipalities to test also and evaluate technology that wants to come into the city. So we basically have a micro a microcosmos of a city, sorry, a microcosmos of a city, um, which we evaluate and examine real technology in uh, technology solutions within the real context of a city. Wait, so is it like a sandbox sort exactly, of a thing? Exactly, sandbox, city? playground, better site, all other buzzwords that you can jump into <laughs> the conversation, but yeah, exactly that. So um, the area is um, 80 anchors um, gated area um, with 10 uh, streets and 10 buildings in different heights. 1,011 visitors every day and every all the use case that you can find in the city you'll find within Atidim Park. Oh, wow. So talking about uh, kindergartens and uh, schools and bus terminal and traffic light and buildings and people walking around and garbage trucks and restaurants and cafes, a synagogue, hairdresser and even a post office. Well that makes it a real city. <laughs> Yes. So we test and evaluate the, um, the, techno the technological solutions for the challenges that we'll probably talk about a little bit more later on, but um, with startups um, that wants to work with the city. So on top of that, we created an innovation platform. So it's an, um, 
a startup program for startups who want to answer with their solutions to our challenges. And the startups that evaluated and get accepted to the program can gain from the data that we created in that area, in that living lab, in the better site. And they can work their solutions um, and POCs and get feedbacks with a, desi a real design partner, a real end customer towards the whole program. The end customer being the city of The Tel city Aviv. itself, exactly. So we get them the, re the exact, per exact person that will be their end consumer wow. uh, to work with them on the products towards the year of the program. So the startups that um, accept, get accepted to the program will move to, the, to our hub that uh, facilitate within the heart of the living lab. And as we talk, they'll get a design partner. It can be the city itself with a referent from a different department of the city. But it also can be with one of our partners. So we have, we talked a little bit earlier about the urban context, the, the urban tech ecosystem and not just a smart city. So there's different financial models for startups to work within the city and affect our day-to-day -day lives and change our life or impact our, I mean, impact for good our lives with a technological solution throughout the city. And those startups not necessarily sell for municipalities or government. They can sell for consumers, for residents throughout the city. They can sell to suppliers and vendors that work with the city, that already um, apply to different tenders and, you know, gain and have the, the meaningful uh, budget to do that. And they can do like co-selling or implement that technology through those arms. And we have partners such as Dell Technology and uh, Renault, Nissan, Mitsubishi, The Alliance and Cisco and others that are participating in our program. It's on a sponsorship based basically collaboration, but they also can be the design partner for those startups. And the startups sitting within our labs gain lots of uh, business opportunities that we open the door for them throughout all of, you know, on a national scale for all other Israel municipalities, but also on a global scale. So we created like a soft landing mechanism for our startups, working with uh, hubs and labs similar to ours, meaning they have some sort of uh, municipality involvement with them, but they're uh, operating on a private uh, corporation. Um, that in those specific areas or markets that the startups want to grow to and scale to, um, they'll have someone local that can educate them, um, uh, give them tips and advice, for uh, opening uh, tenders, for uh, pilots. Basically How do much? some hand-holding. Uh, exactly, and connect them to the right person within the municipalities or the um, valuable uh, partners in the ground. So we already signed with uh, Berlinex from, uh, from Europe, but we are in discussion with more similar hubs and labs throughout the world. That sounds really it's advanced. It's exciting. <laughs> wow. uh, could you talk a little bit about the s selection criteria for the teams? Uh, like you mentioned the solutions, I get that, but like as for the teams, for the maturity of the solution, uh, could you want to uh, like accept to the program? And also like talk about the successes, the alumni. Yeah, so we have 10 amazing startups in our portfolio. I always have to start with the success. <laughs> okay. Um, some of them you can find here. Um, they have the Boost, the ITC, Trails, Soft Ride, and many more that's sitting here. Um, basically, most of the startups that we get accepted to the program already have um, like a seed or pre-seed investment. So they can be quiet with the mind working on the product because the main goal of the program is to have a mature product and meaning, meaningful uh, customers by the end of the, of the program. The meaningful criteria, you know, above the regular one that all accelerators are using about the team and investment and uh, they need to have a solution and to answer a challenge. So that's one of our most uh, meaningful criteria. So they'll need to apply to one of the challenges on our website. Um, we have five different challenges for the mobility and, tra mobility and transportation uh, arena. And they will need to examine within our board member, board of directors, uh, what kind of a solution, I mean, if that's the exact solution that we're looking for to answer a that fate. specific challenge, exactly. I got you. So you wanted to uh, mention the challenges? Yeah, so, you know, the number of people commuting around the city, it's crazy in Tel Aviv. It's three times its own population. I mean, Tel Aviv has 5,000 uh, residents, more, a, a bit less, 4,000. 500,000. 
400,000 yeah, sorry, right. 500,000 residents. So 1.5 million commuting around the city. That creates a lot of hard work for the infrastructure of the city, but also for public transport. Um, so basically looking to the future, I mean, looking for today, sorry, before we go to the autonomous vehicles that everyone is challenging, have the ch that challenge open up in their um, accelerator program, etc. Et so talking about mass the mobility as a service, so we're looking for um, startups that have solution for uh, un unified, um, uh, unified multimodal trip planning within okay. all different platforms of uh, public service uh, mobility throughout so the city. So like an umbrella platform exactly. for all the transportation in modes existing in Including city. the trains, the hopefully right. the light train when we have that coming soon, um, late soon. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully soon. <laughs> hopefully soon. The buses, uh, the scooters and the, the mobike and stuff. And also talking about the mass, uh, we're including that um, consumption and business plan for what comes to us, um, all different models throughout the city. If we'll go a little bit further for that, talking about uh, environmental friendly er, uh, arena mm -hmm. throughout the urban context, context sorry, uh, concept. So we'll be talking about um, solutions that tackle uh, EV charging and reducing the amount of carbon used uh, in, tra in public transport around the city and all different uh, parking solutions and stuff. And we talked a little bit about the autonomous driving. So with the city uh, point of view, it's essential to have the partners, the OEMs, such as the Alliance of Renonis and Mitsubishi that are partnering with us, working together in order to make the readiness of the city towards the autonomous driving. So we're looking for all sorts of different solutions dealing with E2V uh, communication. What is it to be? It's uh, <laughs> what electric Ve vehicle, to yeah, vehicles. vehicles to all everything that surrounded it. Uh, uh, basically, how the how the autonomous transportation will be speaking uh, or communicating with the uh, traffic light, with the pedestrians, with the uh, signs throughout the city, mm -hmm. with everything that we have around us in the city, and of course, autonomous transportation solution. Um, talking about that, and even some of the of, um, by working with the partners as I mentioned so we also have our partners um, communicating their challenges um, under the umbrella of the urban challenges that we have so talking about An example, maybe? Yeah. exactly so talking about um, uh, the transportation and mobility and talking about Renonis and Mitsubishi the Alliance so we gather together uh, the challenge for robot taxis so okay. how robot taxis taxis will commuting around the city, how they will um, uh, optimize um, their uh, multiple packed up of destination with the uh, different customers and residents throughout the city. And again, like V2H, so that will be vehicle to human uh, communication, etc. Okay, very interesting. Uh, tell me, the program is uh, on like exists on a rolling basis, or you have cohorts? Uh, how does how does it operate exactly? So the program is the um, admission to the program. It's a rolling basis exactly. So we're promoting, we're publishing the challenges every now and again. So approximately every few months, we'll have a new challenge um, that we'll publish on our website and communicate that to the ecosystem. And um, we examine startups every day, um, every week, and we have our board uh, community of uh, that take the decisions every month. So hopefully by the end of this year, we'll have 14 startups in our portfolio. So I assume that's a goal, right? Yeah. And then like in the ideal world, you see those technologies uh, start being deployed when? <laughs> First of all, here in Israel, we need to be scientists. We need to, we need to enjoy our own technology. You know, when you walk which around... Which rarely the, happens. Which eh? rarely, <laughs> I, I accept that. I really relate to that. I mean, when you walk around the globe, you'll enjoy tons of Israeli innovative, amazing startup solutions and technologies. But here in Israel, we are lack of using and adopting our own technologies that we you know, we call it blue and white technology that we uh, produce. I admire that mission, by the way. <laughs> so I'd love to have some of uh, the things finger, developed in Israel here. <laughs> when the finger crossing, it will be, first of all, implemented here in, in Israel, in Tel Aviv, as a customer for our startups, but also in other 
uh, areas and, uh, and municipalities around Israel. And obviously, startup needs to, to exist from something, so scale it throughout the, uh, the globe. And that's why exactly we have the, the partnership uh, that you the, work the, Yes. At. Very interesting. Thanks so much. Yes, and, I, and I really want to, to invite everyone to meet our amazing startups. Trails are here, Soft Tried are here, uh, ITC are here, ID Night and more amazing startups. And um, thank you very much for having me here. Thanks so much. Good luck. Thank you.